hello, this is Jason Widrow. Welcome back. So what we're going to do now is continue upon the last tutorials. In this tutorial, it's going to get a little back and forth on a few things, but stick with me. I'll go slow and we'll get through this. So basically what we did now up to this point, we've created our view, our type options, meaning the options that will be selected on the the classified when a new classified is added and a bunch of other little things along the way so but right now what we're gonna what we need to do is actually we're gonna create a link called classifieds which is gonna take us to our classifieds we need to do that we need to do some configuration with the menu and then we need to create our view template which is basically when a classified is clicked on the template of how the information is going to be displayed on the page for the visitor so they can see the details the way you want them presented. So I'm going to just go one step at a time. Now the first thing that we need to do is go to view templates and you will see that I already created a template. Now I'm going to actually delete this so that we can walk through it but this is what the end result is going to look like. This is very straightforward. Actually, it's going to be a little different than this, but I'm going to go ahead and click this and move this to the trash. And I'm going to click Add New. I'm going to call this Classifieds Listing Template. And you'll notice there's a little triangle here. Go ahead and click on that. Now what we want to put on here is the body and we're going to put the price and the image and you'll notice there's quite a few selection options here. We're going to leave everything as it is but right here go ahead and enter you know something like 600 this will automatically resize the image, but this is going to be the maximum width so that the image can, you know, take up some nice space on the page. I'm going to click insert short code. There you go. And I think we wanted one last option. We wanted to get the price in there. All right. So we've got, now we have the body, we have the price, and we have the image. Oh, I'm sorry, wait a minute. Oh, I already added the price. Okay. My bad. All right, so we got the body, the price, and the image. And this body tag, I might make some adjust adjustments to that later on, but I'm not going to get into that right now. I just wanted to let you know to look forward to a possible, possibly just removing this based on how I have some other settings set up on this already. But right now we're going to click Save. Okay, good, that's saved. Now we're going to go over back. We're going to jump over to our types. We're going to click on types. And you remember that we created this custom fields group, which you will, will remember from an earlier tutorial where we added the price, the image, and the category. Well, there's one thing here that needs to be updated. And that is we need to associate the, this data with a specific template. And what a template is, is just kind of, it's kind of a page that's already set up where certain things fall into. In this case, it's a price, it's an image, it's a title, it's a description, etc. So we're going to collect View Template Classifieds Listing Template. It's kind of a long line of name, but that's the name I use. So we're going to click OK to save that. And then we're going to click Save to save all these changes. Now what we just did is assigned a template to, as I said, this specific data. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to pages. I'm going to click add new. I'm going to call this classifieds. And in this box, again, we're going to click on the triangle. And you'll see the views here listed right here. And you're going to click classifieds view. And this is the view we created earlier and about two videos ago. Okay, and what we're going to do is we're going to leave everything exactly as it is here. 
and I'm going to click publish. And that's going to save the changes for this. Now, the next thing we need to do is go to appearance, menus. And you'll see I have some of this set up depending how far you've gone. The most important thing to know is you want to enter your main menu title here and then click save menu once you've entered that. And what we're going to do, we're going to add our classifieds link to our page so that the link's going to show up here and then when we click on it, it's going to show our listings. Very straightforward. So I'm going to click add to menu and you'll see that that drops right into place. And everything is already configured already, so we don't need to do anything to that. Click Save Menu. Now we're going to go back and make sure our link actually shows up. And there it is. And you will notice, as soon as I click on it, that our search box shows up, and two listings show up. Now, in the, tuto in the earlier tutorials, I did not go over adding the listings, but that is very straightforward. And you can do that by simply going to your classifieds post link and clicking add new. And you can enter the title, the description, the price, select your image just as you would any WordPress image, and select the category that it belongs to. And you don't need to do anything else to this page except when there's, you must select the classified listing template. And since I just created it, and these listings were already created, you'll notice that when I click on one of these, it's a very basic, none of the price or any of the other information is in here. So I'm going to jump back, and I'm going to go to the current classifieds that I created. I'm going to click on Edit for Cool Car. I'm going to select the proper template. Click Update. And just to show you, I'm going to refresh the page. Go back to Classifieds. I'm going to click on Cool Car, and there you see, there's the image, there's the price, there's the description. And you'll notice in the earlier, the earlier part of this tutorial, when I selected what data I wanted to show up in this template, I did not select title. That's because the post title is automatically pulled in. So I added the description, the price, and the image. So, and I'm going to jump over to my awesome red truck. And I'm going to select classified listing template, make sure they both have the same template. I'm going to refresh this and click on awesome red truck. And there you go. And there's the price the description and the truck. So as you can see, that was very straightforward. Now, what about our search box? Okay, so you remember we added our search box and we have categories here. So I'm going to search the cars category for the word cool. See if I can find anything. Ah, and there it is. So now we've just created parametric search for classified listings. And I, I made this tutorial very brief, and I didn't want to get in too much into details because I just wanted you to get a hang of doing this and using the types and views system. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know if you have any questions and uh, feel free to post them on the page. Again, thanks for watching.